Next up, a modern twist on a traditional beverage with health benefits. Hi Sharks, my name is Rosa. I'm from San Francisco, California. Growing up as a little girl in China, Grandma taught me the philosophy of food as medicine from an early age. She always brewed these healing tonics with a symphony of wild herbs and botanicals that were great for my health. They worked wonders for me, soothing my stomach and lifting my spirit. Fast forward to growing up me, I worked a lot of stressful jobs and started to feel the effect on my body, mostly in my gut. So I returned to grandma's homemade tonics and sharks, I became a true believer in gut health and had to share her wisdom with the world. And that's when I brewed up Wild Wonder a sparkling drink that reimagines the healing tonics of my heritage by combining herbal wisdom with whimsical flavors. Our drinks have all the gut-supporting superfoods your body craves, 50% less sugar than kombucha, and best of all, it's the first drink that combines both probiotics and prebiotics. Why? Because better gut health should be as easy as popping over a can. <laughs> Sip on our strawberry passion for a perfectly sweet and tart refresher, Dip into our dreamy pink drink guava rose for both floral and fruity. Try our peach ginger that gives you all the peachy vibes with a zesty kick. Or indulge your senses with mango gold for a tropical and refreshing taste. Sharks, food is my love language and I don't believe in giving up taste for health. I am seeking $500,000 for 5% of this wow. gut supporting and immune boosting super drink. So who's ready to put a modern twist on ancient wisdom? and join me in drinking our way to better gut health. Sharks, in front of you are wild wonder drinks to sip on and enjoy. We fresh brew all the herbs and botanicals and pair that with fruit. I just drank the guava rose, which tasted to me like rose water with a little bit of bitterness, right? We're, but we're talking probiotics. Yep, every can has five grams of prebiotic fiber. That's unusual in a drink. We're a more holistic way to approach gut health. Most companies out there, like kombucha, drink and vinegar, first of all, they have that really acquired fermented taste, and that's not serving the average customer. I agree with and that. And we're here to really expand the market with no fermented taste, and it's a healthy alternative to soda as well. So as you can notice, every can has 35 calories only, 90% less sugar than soda, and 50% less sugar than kombucha. And there's nothing artificial in it. Everything is organic certified as well. It's very clean. Uh, ingredients. Rosa, didn't we go to school together? Yeah, we did. Thank you for remembering. Tell me your background a bit more. So, um, yes, we both went to business school, uh, not the same class. So let me tell you a little more about my personal background. I uh, grew up in China. My grandparents actually raised me for the first 12 years of my life. Wow. While my parents immigrated to the U.S., I came to the States at age 12 with zero knowledge of the English language. Within three years, I joined my high school's debate team. Wow. So then I was only sophomore from my college to secure a finance internship from Goldman Sachs um, in their New York headquarters. After I graduated, I worked in private equity and venture investing. So I know a lot about scaling businesses with capital efficiency and making a return on your dollar. <laughs> I launched Walt Wonder in 2020. I actually had large POs going out to offices like Facebook and Google and COVID happened. So that actually wiped out my entire revenue stream. Um, it was really hard time, but I basically got to work. Um, within three months, I knocked down 200 grocery store doors, um, got my website up and running. Wow. And by the end of year one, I was carried by over a hundred stores, including our regional Whole Foods. Wow, good for you. I'm always fascinated when someone comes into Shark Tank with a beverage deal, with a valuation of 10 million bucks. <laughs> because I know how hard it is to get distribution. And 100 stores, with all due respect, is nothing in terms of what you have to achieve. But that was last share. year, right? That was 2020. Okay. What do you have now? How many stores? So year to date, we've generated over 1.4 million revenue. We're at a run rate of 2.5 million right now. We also have some really exciting launches coming up in the next 30 days. So are you going to make any money this year? At this scale, we're not net profitable. Food and beverage is a gross margin game. I'm very focused on increasing our gross margins. Rosa, what do you sell them for and what does it cost you to make them? It costs 90 cents to make. I retail for 349 and within a year's time, we can get that cost down to 70 cents. 
How much money have you put into the business? Um, we raised last year 2.1 million. That's all you've raised so far? So we also have investors putting in money right now. Um, what what valuation a, are these raises at? Last year we raised on a safe. It's a pre-money safe, six million cap. Mm. Look, I admire you. Your story's incredible. The product's fantastic. One of the best, I must say, I've ever tried in the tank. But at 5%, I don't even get out of bed for 5%. For me, I'm out. Sorry to hear that. For me, the risk isn't matching the reward. I think you're in a very, very, very big market. So I'm sorry, I'm out. Sorry to hear that. I can't stand kombucha. I can drink this all day long. And the utility of it, right, with the fiber and drinkability, which one is it that I just drank the whole thing of, the strawberry passion? Yeah. I'll order it. It was really, really good. But Thank you. But the amount of money that you're going to have to continue to raise, entrepreneurs tend to kind of try to find an equilibrium of how much they want to keep versus how much they can That's raise. Right. yeah. And it's very, very difficult. It makes it, for a small investor, just 5%. It makes it really, really hard for us to participate in all the upside. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. I think your product presents as well as you did today. Flawless, really. I know you invested, you invested in some beverages. I did There could twice. be some synergies, Barbara. Well, listen, the first time, <laughs> I cried when I lost the money. The second time, I put in more money to follow my bad money. I lost that, too. And then I wrote a note to my attorney signed it, had it notarized, saying, kill me if I ever go into another beverage company. <laughs> and I'm afraid he would kill me, actually. I'm out. Thank you. Well, Tony. I do think, like some of the other sharks, I think this is a category where you kind of have to achieve a minimum scale mm -hmm. before it actually has a chance. Yeah. Your ask was 500000 at 5%. Yeah. My, uh, my counter to you is the 500000 and 9%, and that's my final offer. You know, I'm not a beverage guy, um, but I do understand scaling capital efficient businesses mm -hmm. in a very sequential way to have a chance at that success. And I think that's what you need. Um, so the last round we raised on pre money save, so six million cap. Um, I'm happy to meet you somewhere just so that I don't go under that. Would you be able to do 500,000, 6%, but I'll give you 3% advisory shares, just so it doesn't hurt my, my valuation as much, but you'll get the same amount. Done. All right, we Good got job, a deal. Guys. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> oh, we made it happen. Yeah. We made it happen. Yeah. Congratulations right. on everything. You. Thank you, yeah, we'll make it. all the success. Congrats, Rosa. This is validation for my product and for my company. Um, I worked really hard to get Wild Wonder to where it is today. We've gone through a lot of challenges and um, it's clear that Tony really appreciates that and he believes in me and he believes in the company. So we're gonna take it to the ne next level.